guys welcome to part 3 of dynamic looping engine tutorial this tutorial is basic and before we start dynamic the preparation of prepare our scene to dynamic create in dynamic okay so before we start create a uh, cylinders everyone who hold on there so go to cylinder and caps turn off the cap okay you can get a hole on there then also operate both cylinder and we want to create we want to animate this this one uh, so Change the pivot to center of cylinder. Okay, if you change the cylinder to center, then you can animate like this. And also, create this one and change the pivot to center and rectangle. I can be set so if you animate this cylinder you can get and spinning animation so one is we want okay, the extra in the cylinder is x x ray more. we want the outline of our scene so create a box and it is our scene so this one will help to our ball not going to downside so if you fit the cube to our scene so if you add some collision character this box the ball is collided with them so ball is not going to outside I mean downside Perfectly align with our scene. Then go to side view and decrease the width of that cube. Okay. It's perfectly created. Now create extra mode. Okay. We don't want to see this cube, so you can turn off the preview and turn off this from preview and render. Okay, just rename it and add a collision tag and select this with the base and add a, uh, add a collider body and also we want and some rigid body to our bow. Okay, next part. <laughs> 